Hello and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game battle. Today, well, I can't say today because we've already had a battle today, but again today we have the Gengar EX deck that I am very, very fond of, and we will be battling my dad again. This time, however, he is using my Groudon deck, the Earth's Pulse theme deck, which I have modified. There's my hand. It looks like I do have one of the... It might be Mega Gengar there. Oh, I again only have the one basic, it seems. I think if I remember rightly, it's a Skrelp that's my basic this time. I apologise for the last video if I was sniffly. I um, my nose was annoying me yesterday, and I suffer really badly with like hay fever and stuff. How many basics has my dad got? Just two? Nope, three. Oh. Uh, let's see. I have Nidorina, Swampert, Mega Gengar. So I could glance at. I might possibly Nido King there. I'm not. I didn't see. Didn't see any energy either, which is a bit of a boo boo. To start with, no energy. He has Scorched Earth and three energy cards. He has Scorched Earth in his hand. So we flip tails. I think that um I win the toss and I decide for him to go first. Because I oh we flip again for some reason. Oh yeah, because no one called, I remember. We flipped the first time and no one called, so we had to flip again. And yeah, I got Skrill and he got Meditite. Uh, I think that's a Groudon and an Electrike, possibly. Uh, my dad has forgotten to do his prizes. So he goes first, he plays his fighting energy. We do notice about the prizes, by the way. In a turn or two's time. I play Tieno. Draw Dragalge. Nido Queen. And the other Nido Queen. So the Dragalge is nice because I have obviously got Skrelp out already. I play Professor's Letter. Water Energy and... Psychic Energy. And now I'm assuming I played the Psychic Energy to Skrill, because that's what it needs at the moment. It doesn't need the Water Energy until it's a Dragalge. Yep, Psychic Energy. And obviously I can't attack because it's my first turn. So my dad draws. I think it's around here that we realise that he's got no prizes. He plays Pokemon Fan Club, which he... Uh, to search for two basics. He's got Zigzagoon and Groudon EX. And this is the point where we realise he doesn't have any prizes. 
so he shuffles and then puts the six prizes down I think um, I let him keep the two even though technically two, they might have ended up in his prizes normally but I was nice and let him keep the two that he picked from Pokemon Fan Club which technically he wouldn't have had either thinking about it but oh well because he did draw it that turn but we I didn't notice it was my fault it was partly as well so I just let him run with it there we go he played them both to the bench He plays Electric Energy to ground on EX. Sorry about that pause, there was just nothing happening to talk about. And then he attacks for 20, possibly? I think it's like Smack that Meditite has as its attack. So I draw. Looks like a Psychic Energy. I play the Psychic Energy to the Skrulp. And then I attack. To s uh, now, Scrub's attack doesn't do damage. It's just you flip a coin if heads is poisoned. I think it's called like spit poison. And so I don't get him poisoned. So that's a boo boo, but oh well. So he plays an electric energy to the other Groudon on his bench. And attacks for 20, so Scrop does only have 10 HP left. I do have that Dragalg in my hand though. And I think I play it here. Yep, Dragalg is on the field. Dragalg is having its debut appearance. And I also have that water energy, which I play to Dragalg. And now uh, I play my potion to heal Dragalg back up to 90 HP. It still has 10 damage on it. But oh well. Um, and Dragal can do attack for 60, which will kill the Med Titan one powerful hit. Bye bye, Med <laughs> And I got Gengar EX as my prize. And we already know I have Mega Gengar in my hand, so. Looks like he's back. Out comes the Groudon EX. Just having a look at the Groudon there. He plays a Fighting Energy to it. Now he can use Rip Claw, which is 30 damage and remove an energy if you flip heads. I don't know what I'm doing on the video there. <laughs> So he does rip claw flip and I think that's tails. So no energy is removed. Draw a card which appears to be Verbank. I play Gengar X 
to the field. I play Professor's Litter. Psychic energy and a water energy. I think I play the Psychic Energy. Yep, Psychic Energy to Gengar EX. And I attack for 60 and flip to see if Groudon is poisoned. But no, tails again. He plays another fighting energy to the uh, Groudon. He still hasn't played his stadium card. He plays fresh water set to heal. The Groudon to 40. It was a bit of a waste of fresh water set, to be honest. And then he attacks with Rip Claw again. And gets an energy remove. I think he chooses the water energy. I do have a sp the water energy I drew from Professor's Letter still in my hand. So I can still attack with Dragalge next turn. So I put the water energy on Dragalge. Um. And I attack for 60, so I'm just putting a 100 damage counter on there. This is just freeze, so that Groudon doesn't end up having just like s loads of 10s on it. I don't know what happened there, I kind of destroyed Dragal on the field. I think there's seven damage counters on it though, so Ripclaw will kill it this turn. Yep. Dragalg is dead. Poor Dragalg. Promote Gengar. I didn't see what my dad's prize card was. I draw a fighting energy, which I play to the Gengar EX. And I attack for 30 damage with whatever his attack is. I know it does 30 damage, I just don't remember the name of the attack. So Groudon has 50 left, I believe. He has Professor's Letter there and gets two fighting energies with it. Plays one to the Groudon EX and uses Break Ground, I think it's called, for 130. Uh, it's 110 because I only I have a resistance to fighting being a ghost type. So I have 
60 HP left. So I basically get rid of Ground on the X this turn, which I can do, I think, so. I play the energy I just drew, which is a water energy to the Gr Gengar. And now can use my attack that does 60 damage. I think it's a night attack or something. Or dark corridor, possibly. That does 60 damage anyway, so I do get to n get the knockout on the ground. On I take the two prizes. Hoping for a basic... I think I do get one. I don't know what I was explaining there. I was explaining something to him. So he promotes the other Groudon. Uh, plays the fighting energy he got from Professor Let's do it. The other fighting energy. And can do Rock Smash now, I think. He needs to flip heads to do damage with it, though. And he does not. Because it does 20 damage, and if you flip heads, it does an extra 20. But I have a minus 20 resistance to fighting. I get a Nido ran out. I play a water energy to it. I Mega Evolve. Which ends my turn because I do not have Gengar Spirit Link. He plays a Rhyhorn to the bench and evolves and Manetric there. Um, I'm not sure if he had those before and I just didn't notice. And the I flip tails again on that rock smash, unfortunately. Evo Soda, probably for the Nidoran, because that's all that it can evolve. So Nidorina's there now. Play Ultra Ball. Get rid of Nido Queen and Marsh Stomp. And what do I get out? Nido Ran Mail. Nice and Nido Ran Mail. I'm just reading what they do, their attacks, to see which one I would like to do. Ground on the one does damage to its bench, so I don't really want to do that. So I go with, I think it's electric shock or something. It's an electric attack, it does 70 damage and paralyzes. You do have to remove both your electric energies. Normally you'd need two electric energies to do it. But King Gory X doesn't have any electric energies on him. So, oh well.
He plays Acrobike. And gets Big Barrel and Bidoof. He discards Big Barrel. Plays Professor Slitter. Lots of professors' letters in this game. Plays a fighting energy to the Groudon. Oh, we had a debate about whether you can play energies to paralyze the Pokemon, but I wasn't sure, so I just let him do it. He plays the Bidoof. It doesn't matter anyway, because I can kill the Groudon. So yeah. I evolve both the bench ones, so we have Nidorina and Nido Queen. No, Nidorino and Nido Queen, my bad. Um the other one's male. So I knock out the Groudon, get a Psychic Energy as my prize. I'm down to two prizes. Up comes the Manetric with one Electric Energy. He plays a Fighting Energy to the Manetric. Plays his stadium card, which he's had in his hand since turn one. He discards a f it's scorched there, so you can discard fire or fighting energy to draw two cards. So he does. And then does lightning turn, which is Manetric's attack, which is 30 and switches out Manetric for someone on his bench. He gets to choose, though. So out comes the Rhyhorn. Manetric comes to my turn. Nido King comes out. I have that Psychic Energy. Am I going to play it? Yep, I play the Psychic Energy to the Nido Queen. play my Verbank, which I've had in my hand for a while now. I was waiting for him to play Scorched Earth, because I only have the one Verbank, and I know he only has the one Scorched Earth in that deck. So Verbank, with its poison power, is quite useful there. And I... Don't attack for knockout. I think I use. Oh! I use Lightning Turn to switch into the Nido Queen, which is on the bench. So 30 and switch with one of your bench. So Gengar is now on my bench, Nido Queen is now my active. I'm just explaining what Verbank City Gym does. He plays a fighting energy to the Zigzagoon. Passes. I play a Nidoran female to the bench there, by the looks. I then D 
do poison jab twice for knockout because of Omega Barrage I can attack twice with Nido Queen. So poison jab for 30 twice and it only has 50 HP left anyway originally so it's dead. I think it's 50 HP. So he sends up the um, Manetric. Plays another Rhyhorn. Lightning turns into the Zigzagoon. So his Nida Queen takes 30. And that's basically the game. Because I Zigzagoon only has 60 HP, Poison Jab does 30 and I can attack twice. So yeah. I attack the Zigzagoon for knockout. Take my last prize, which is a Shauna. So thank you for watching the third Gengar EX deck battle. Um I've got to feature Jugal Jubit in this episode. As my hand, I had the Swampert still from the start, which I never got to play. The Diving Search Swampert. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And see you in another video. Goodbye.